Yo, what's going on YouTube? GZ TV, Mike Check. We are back with another video, and in this video, we are going to be going over the all-star teams. I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts, and then we will possibly getting into... Well, we'll do a separate video on the trade deadline. You know what? When all-star weekend rolls around, we can do the trade deadline stuff. But uh, for now, we are reacting to the all-star teams. Getting into it, first we are going to be talking about the Eastern Conference, or we're going to be start talking about the starters. And this is pretty much me just saying who should make it, who shouldn't have made it, you know, that type of thing. So first things first is Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is perfectly fine. MVP candidate, of course. He should be an all-star, or he should be a starter. This is where it gets kind of tricky, because up next we have Kevin Durant. You know, with all the injuries he has experienced, I get, you know, the All-Star game is supposed to attract viewers. I understand what the NBA is trying to do. KD has been hurt far too much to be an All-Star starter, and there's guys like Joel Embiid off the bench that deserve it over him, in my opinion. Next, we're here talking about Kyrie. I mean, yeah, premier point guard in the NBA. One of the best. One of the best scorers in the NBA. One of the most clutch players in the NBA. Um, obviously, you know, there's guys like Trey Young. Trey Young's a pretty good bid. If I, he didn't even make the list, by the way, but if you if you were gonna tell me that Trey Young was gonna be the starter, I wouldn't be mad at you at all. But yeah, Kyrie definitely deserves the spot. All joking aside, all anti-Semitism, all you know, controversy with the trade deadline aside, he I think he deserves it for sure. Next, we are going to talk about Donovan Mitchell. And yes, I think Donovan Mitchell deserves to be a starter. Premier scorer in the league. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of anything else. Um, he can have decent passing in a game, decent rebounding and all that. But I mean, I think every player can have that. But I think his scoring apart just sets him apart from so many people. I mean, he had a 71-point game that I watched live. It, it was awesome to see that. But yeah. Donovan Mitchell for sure should be a starter. I'm looking at the bench and stuff, and I mean, you could say Jalen Brown, but no. I think Donovan Mitchell is better. Now we have Jason Tatum. I'm trying not to be unbiased because he's my favorite player in the league as a starter here. And yeah, he's he's a, he's a starter for sure. He's been a starter the last, what, two or three years, and I think he deserves it. I mean, he is a top three MVP candidate. You know, he's up there with Jokic and Giannis, whether you want to argue that or not. His team is 37 and 16, and he is not by far, but like, honestly, a decent chunk ahead of everyone else as the best player on the team. Obviously, we have Jalen Brown, which we will get to in the reserves, but yeah, let's get to the reserves. So now we are going to be talking about the reserves, who I think should have possibly been a starter, who I think is for sure on the reserves team, and who I think should maybe even be over some of the reserves. So yeah, let's get into it. So now we have Bam on a bio, which I think he's an all-star, um, honestly. Uh, I've, I've seen him play the Celtics plenty of times this season. Yeah, I think Bam on a bio, it's safe to say he's an all-star. Um, great defensive player. He can grab boards. He's a very skilled big man. Undersized, but he can get a lot done on the offensive end. He's had a good 10 to 15, 30 point games being on the same team as Jimmy Butler. And yeah, I think Bam definitely deserves to be on this list. Next, we have Jalen Brown of my Celtics. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Jalen Brown is an all star and a reserve. Him and Bam are in perfect spots here. This is a good start. There's going to be some controversial moments on this, of course, but this is a good start. You know, Jalen Brown has had great games this season. Very aggressive player. Good moves. Um, he's He's got a bag, for sure. So, yeah. Next, this is where we get a little iffy. We have DeMar DeRozan. Um, I've respected DeMar DeRozan's career. I think he's been, always been a very underrated basketball player. It's just this season, I've seen him have some really bad games where he'd have, like, 15 points off of, like, 30% shooting. Uh, I definitely think there's guys in the East that could top him here. And, and I mean, like, James Harden. Like, we're talking. We're talking, like, a James Harden. Damn near Zach Levine, his own teammates, almost better than him. But other than that, sure. I'm not extremely mad about him being an all-star reserve. I know, like, the NBA likes DeMar DeRozan. But... Yeah. They have snubbed him over the years, so maybe this makes up for it. I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, yes. Joel Embiid, top five player in the league, and he isn't an all-star starter. I'm happy that he's an all-star. It's just why the hell isn't he a starter? He should start over KD, and I think this would be a perfect, perfect all-star starting list. 
If he started over KD and you had Jan, him, Giannis, Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, and Kyrie, that would be an insane starting lineup. But, yeah, let's move on. You know, I've liked Tyrese Halliburton from the start of his career, but this just kind of startles me a little bit. Like, why isn't a guy like Darius Garland or Trey Young or James Harden, you know, why are guys like that not... Or Jalen Brunson, hell, we forgot about Jalen Brunson when we were talking about... uh. DeMar DeRozan, like, why isn't Jalen Brunson on this list? Tyrese Halliburton, very shaky. We're getting into very shaky territory here. Man, the internet is letting Drew Holiday hear about this one, and I'm honestly not opposed to it. Like, what the hell is this NBA? Sure, he's one of the best defensive defending guards in the league, and even, like, some of the greatest scorers of all time, like KD, can attest to that, but <sighs> I can name five guards that didn't make the all-star team that are better than Drew Holiday. And plus, there's guys on the snubs list I've been mentioning before that have played more games than him. So, yeah, shout out to him. I mean, he's on a good team, so I guess I understand why they put him on here. And no, I don't, I don't like this pick at all. You know, Julius Randle's been a little bit shaky this year, but I can't find anyone in the East that's a front court player that hasn't been put on this list that should be put on this list over Julius Randle. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that. I think Julius Randle, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's an all-star, um, former most improved player, um, on a pretty good, pretty solid at least, uh, New York Knicks team. So, yeah, shout out to Julius Randle. He's had a couple of shaky games, but he's also had some good games. So, yeah, I would say he's deserved here we are. We are moving right along to the Western Conference. We are going to first start with the starters. Let's go. LeBron James, one of the best basketball players of all time, has been named as a starter and probably, presumably, the captain on a game day, which is very interesting. I haven't really talked about that, but I really like the dynamic of them making them pick, like a pickup game, like right before the game. LeBron James. Um, he doesn't, he hasn't played like a that many games is uh, he's played a decent stretch of games but not as many games as I don't think Lakers fans would want personally me I, I I don't really like the lack of games we've seen from LeBron I wish he would have played in more maybe there were some genuine injuries mixed in there I still think like at his age and how well he's playing and how close the Lakers are to like making that leap into play the playoffs they're they're close guys like you can talk shit about them all you want but they're close so yeah, I'm not mad at I'm not mad at LeBron being a starter. Um, I really am not. I, I think this is fine. So yeah. Next we have Steph Curry. We were really starting the list off with like legends of the game, and honestly, there are some better point guards in the NBA than Steph. I could probably name three. I could pro like that aren't in the starting lineup even, like. Some of them are debatable. You know, I think Dame and Ja are better than than Steph. Steph, no doubt, has had an incredible season. But his war, I mean, I guess him and Dame are kind of in the same spot with their teams. Honestly, they should have started Ja. Because looking at how the Grizzlies are playing, looking at how Ja is playing, I think Ja should have been a starter over Curry. But Curry being an all-star can't be mad at that at all, obviously. He's had some pretty incredible games this season. Well, this is a no-brainer. Luka Doncic, some of the most absurd stat lines in the NBA this season. We'll talk about his absurd stat lines up next. But yeah, Luka Doncic, no-brainer. Um, easily a top 10 to top 5, possibly top 5 player. He probably is a top 5 player. I would say him and Embiid are like right outside the MVP conversation. Um, obviously, he's been dealing with injuries, which is very unfortunate. But the Mavs are still playing pretty good, I would say. Um, so, yeah, shout out to Luca for sure. He, I mean, he was an MVP candidate uh, at the beginning of the season. I don't know if he is now, but yeah. Ah, uh, man, Nikola Jokic, probably like the eighth wonder in the basketball world. This guy is absolutely insane. One of the most skilled centers I've ever seen play the game of basketball. And this season, it's no different. I mean, he is incredible. He is, he's really good. He's very, very good. So, yeah, again, another no-brainer. I mean, he's putting up like 44, 22, and 15 in some games. Like, holy shit, how is this guy doing this? 
and if you really like actually watch in Jokic games like people will automatically put him in the MVP conversation like that's fine but if you actually watch his games like he just plays so damn efficient and he just knows exactly what to do with the basketball at all times so shout out to Jokic for sure an all-star and for sure a starter okay this is a very controversial I don't know how Zion Williamson is a starter I really don't um Anthony Davis who didn't even make the list is better DeMontis Sabonis is better, who's on the reserves, and you could argue a case that Jaron Jackson is better than Zion this year. I mean, the injuries, like, come on, man, the dude isn't even healthy, and you're naming him as a starter. Like, the same thing kind of happened with KD on the other side. That's a little bit more understandable, but Zion Williamson, I mean, his, I mean, obviously, you know the impact of of him on on the Pelicans. Like, the second he goes down hurt, they're, they're a pretty bad team right now. Like, they're playing like garbage. But, man, I just don't see a world where Zion Williamson is the starter in the All-Star game. He was last year, and that was perfectly understandable, but here I'm not sure about it. We will now be talking about the reserves. Paul George, like, really? Paul George? Ah, no. No. Paul George is not an All-Star this year. Too many injuries, and if you're going to put Paul George on the list, you got to put Kawhi on the list, which they didn't. Anthony Edwards has had a better season than Paul George. There's no argument there. Um, and he didn't even make the All-Star list, so no. This is not a good pick. Oh, man, SGA. He has been a part of some of the most clutch moments in NBA this year. All-Star for sure, and he's borderline a starter. I'm not mad at this at all. And he's leading the Thunder to a possibly play-in spot. No one expected that, especially given that they drafted Chet and he ended up being hurt during Summer League or during preseason which is really dumb by the way that he got hurt at that time but yeah SGA everyone fix your eyes on greatness he's a really good point guard man Jaron Jackson I mean this is kind of another controversial one I would pick AD over Jaron Jackson um that's really about it though like it, it like that's the only guy that didn't make this list that's better than Jaron Jackson. It's not bad. I mean, he is probably the best defensive player in the league. He's up there with, like, Nicholas Claxton. But that doesn't mean he's an all-star. Because Nicholas Claxton isn't an all-star, and he has probably been playing better than Jaron Jackson over the last, like, ten games. So, yeah, no, this isn't this isn't the best. AD should be an all-star. I don't care how injured he's been all season. All-star. I, I think he's been an all-star. I mean, guys, this man, Dame Time, he's had so many thumbnail-worthy performances in this season that I don't know how he's not an all-star starter. Like, I'm happy that he's an all-star at least, but put that man in the starting lineup. Like, I personally think that he is the starter. I think uh, him or Ja, him or Ja, like, we'll talk about Ja here in a little bit, but, man. With how he's playing and with how the, the Turtle Blazers are starting to look look better, like, I think he should he should have almost been the starter. So yeah, there's that. Man, gotta love this pick from the NBA. Lowry Markin and fantastic. The Finnish the Finnish boy. I think he's from Finland. Yeah. Um he's an all star and I'm happy for him. He's led the Jazz to a decent season. Like when they were expected to be a tank team. I'm pretty sure there were projections that were predicting the Jazz to be a tank team. The fact that Lowry Markin has really just taken over this team. You know, obviously with the help of, like, Jordan Clarkson and, you know, Jared Vanderbilt, rookie Walker Kessler, every now and then Mike Conley will have a good game, Malik Beasley. They have a solid lineup, and these guys, and, and all those guys have started to improve. So you got to give credit to them. But, man, a big part of their success, Lowry Markkinen, the marksman. He, he's been playing incredible. He's had highlight after highlight, so shout out to him. This is probably my favorite pick. We have one of the most athletic players in the NBA up next. We have John Moran. John Moran's amazing. Um, what else is there to say? Again, between him and Dame, I think those two should have been the starters over Curry. Again, personal opinion. The Grizzlies are looking really good this year. They're like a top five team in the NBA. While Steph is like fighting for a play-in spot. So, obviously, Ja hasn't been on the court all year. But when he hit his, like, he's remarkable. He's made some of the craziest shots. He dunks on people. He can give you a decent pass. Obviously, I'm not a fan of, like, all his, like, antics and whatnot, like, the gritty in and shit, but it's John Morant. How could you not love him? Last, but certainly not least, we have DeMontis Sabonis, and people were surprised that, you know, De'Aaron Fox wasn't on this list, but, like, honestly, I'm not super upset about that. Like, 
That's not the worst thing in the world to not have De'Aaron Fox on this list. I mean, John Morant, Shea, Dame, Steph, those are generally, like, those four and, like, Kyrie Irving, those are generally, like, the top four guards in the NBA. Um, but DeMont is a bonus for his position should definitely be here, and he should damn near be a starter over Zion. Like, he's so efficient. He gets triple doubles. He consistently at least puts up a double-double for you, and he's very skilled, so... Shout out to Demontis Sabonis for making, what is it, his third All-Star game? Shout out to him. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Demontis Sabonis fan, and I've been watching the Kings light the beam all season. So, yeah, it's going to do it. And that's the video, everyone. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA content. Once the tra This is an interesting um, interesting kind of like a format of mine. Uh, I don't really do this often, but if you guys want me to do it in the future, I'm going to be doing it coming up in the uh, trade deadline and possibly at the end of the year with my top 100 players of the year so yeah leave a like comment and subscribe i am out have a good rest of your day if you are an nba fan the nba recap should be out tonight and this video will probably be out around noon so you're probably seeing this around noon yeah